let's look at how we add an allowed website using Surefox for iOS. Once you have downloaded Surefox, tap on the icon to launch it. This is how the Surefox home screen would look like. Tap anywhere five times within three seconds to launch the setting password console. As you're logging in for the first time, enter the default password, which is four zeros, and click on OK. It will take you to the settings screen. Here we will click on allowed website. Allowed websites generally will have a list of allowed websites. However, currently we have not allowed any website it is empty. So let's add one. Let's click on add on the top right hand side corner. This is the website details page. Let's enter the details like protocol. And let's also enter the URL for the website that we are going to allow. Um, for example, let's type in Google. You can also give it a name. On the title, you can enter the name of the website, how you would like to reflect it on the Surefox home screen. We'll type Google. And there are other options to choose from, like for example, running a startup. You can also hide the icon on the home screen. And you can also either allow or restrict subdomains. You can also use five icon or you can use your own icon and specify the path in the icon path field. Let's click on allowed website on the top left hand side corner to go to the list of allowed websites. It has Google listed now. Let's go back to settings. And on the settings, let's click on back in the top left hand side corner. It will take you to the Surefox home screen. Now we have Google mentioned there. Let's click on it. It will take you to Google. Now you still want to go ahead and change the default password. Click on the screen five times within three seconds to launch the password console. Let's enter the default password, which is four zeros, and click on OK. Here I will click on Browser Preference. Browser Preferences with, has a lot of details which is related to browser. Can be, you know, the, um, setting ideal timeout, can be hiding menu, menu on the browser screen, or enabling or disabling private browsing, enabling or disabling offline browsing, and enabling or disabling browser plugins. However, what we are going to do now is going to change the Surefox administrator password. Let's remove the default password from there and enter 1234 as our new password. And let's click on settings. It will take you back to the settings screen. And let's go back to the home screen. So you're all set. You can start using your Surefox 